Welcome back Jags, I'm Aubrey Warmke and it's our last show of the year, a special one. We have all the info you need about the end of the year and the return of a special Jag TV personality. This is Jag TV. For the class of 2024, freshman year may feel like forever ago, but they started their high school experience unlike any other group of students before them. Yeah, I went back to school during phase two, so that was when I did a couple of weeks on Zoom, and I think it was in, around October that we transitioned to the in-person school. Having an online start really prevented from forming new connections. Uh, yeah, I guess I did the first nine weeks online, and then I went back freshman year about after that. Each student had a unique experience at the start of the year. Teachers had to adjust their lesson plan to be compatible with the split classrooms. And I like really enjoyed that since like, I feel like there's a lot of people here who don't need to actually be in the school to learn. I talked to some freshmen about like their biology class. I'm like, I didn't even know that that was part of biology. Like, I feel like everything was kind of dumbed down a little bit. But we also learned some other things about how, you know, being human, having some empathy for others. And teachers can see the difference in freshmen now compared to the freshmen of 2020. One thing that I noticed is that we, you know, like everyone depends more on technology. I think that there's still that idea of really no structure, no deadlines, no like I've got to get this done. So that work ethic, this right here, this idea of everything is figure outable, you know, without reaching for your phone, you can figure it out. Looking back, the seniors are able to reflect on the goals they set and the accomplishments they didn't anticipate. I guess I started just like looking into debate sophomore year. My goal for debate was to just like get like to like the national level in the circuit, which I achieved and I was like I found that like really like fun. Wrestling, I chose it on my course card for absolutely zero reason. I just thought it seemed pretty cool. My biggest thing, freshman year, I won three matches. And then in perspective, senior year, I think I won like 46. And like, I never thought I'd be as smart as I was. Like I'm graduating SUMA, which is really cool. Ms. Dixon and Ms. Hernandez Cruz have a final message for the seniors before graduation. To believe in yourself, to be cautious, to don't just because I saw a TikTok video, think that that is truth. To figure it out for yourself. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay, so many of you were my students in eighth grade. I never got the chance to say good luck in high school, and I am very proud to see all the growth that you have had. And I am very proud and very happy that you are going to have your graduation. <laughs> For JAG TV, this is Abigail Henning. As we close out of the year, there are a few teachers and staff that we are saying goodbye to for the 2024-2025 school year. Lily and Danny tell us more. It's the end of the year, so that means it's time to say goodbye to some faculty members who will not be returning next year. Campus nurse Karen East will be retiring after decades as a nurse. Well, it was time for a change. I'd been in the emergency room for 19 years, and you get a little burned out after a while. So, school nursing, in a sense, is kind of like working in an emergency room. You never know what's going to happen from day to day. To day. Um, you just don't have the help that you have in the hospital. But it's been a good change. Cheer coach Amanda Martinez is also leaving. She will be a varsity choreographer going forward. Um, I would definitely say all the relationships that I get to build with students. I um, think that's the best part of the job, just being able to uh, build relationships and treat them like people, like normal people, and have the opportunity to care for them as individuals and not just as um, students learning content, but to uh, you know, pour into their lives in other ways and find ways to encourage and motivate them. Social studies teacher Shannon Wiley will be leaving our campus. She won't be too far away. Yes, I am going to be moving uh, to Reagan High School, which um, my position will be changing next year. I'll be the instructional dean for social studies at Reagan. At Assistant Choir Director Ashley Hester, 
track coach Byron Randall, and assistant tennis coach Lindsay Sanchez to the list of teachers who will not be returning for the 2024-2025 school year. For JAG TV, this is Danny Butler and Lily Adams. Senior exams start tomorrow, and then the countdown is on to graduation. Here's Madison with the information seniors need to know. For seniors, this is it, the month you've been waiting for. But before you can say you're done with high school, there are a few days on the calendar you need to know about. And if you do not want to participate in graduation, you have to let Mr. Comalander know. Tomorrow is the first day of senior exam. There is a special schedule for senior exam days, and this is posted on the campus website. Student Council is once again hosting Senior Sunset on May 22nd from 7 p.m. to sunset on the football field. There will be food, games, and more. May 23rd is a day set for senior walkthrough through elementary schools like Boverde Creek and Rome Forest. Seniors who want to take part in the walk at their former elementary need to check their emails and make sure they are signed up. Finally, seniors have a mandatory graduation practice May 23rd on campus and May 24th at Coma Lander Stadium. That's all for this week. See you next year for Jack TV. Again, if you do not wish to walk the stage, you must make contact with Mr. Comalander. You can add turning in your textbooks and Chromebooks to your list of things to do before the school year is over. Laura and Elijah have the details. We're two weeks away from the end of the year and that means textbooks and Chromebook turn-in dates are also almost here. Everybody's library books are due on May 16th for the whole school, um, although seniors you will be getting an obligation um, slip starting on May 14th and those need to be paid by May 21st. So everybody else's obligations will be coming a little bit later. For all grade levels, if you have the book and you're getting emails that they're later overdue and you owe money, you don't really owe money unless you have completely lost the book or it's destroyed and we can't can't put it back on the shelf. So if you are getting those later overdue emails and you do um, have the book, then you can bring it back and you, you don't pay anything, you don't owe any money, nothing, you just, we just really want the book back. And it's also time to round up any textbooks you have now. All textbooks need to be returned before the last day of school, depending on if you're underclassman or if you're senior. If you're senior, obviously their last day of school, I believe is the 24th, they need to have their books in prior to that due date. Each book is different. The fees, for example, a lost book, a damaged book, the fees are based on each book. So some books might require it to be $35, the other books might be $65. It all, it all is based on each book. Teachers will be bringing students down during the day by classes. If they have an individual book with class sets, Mr. Morgan will be going to the teacher and picking up class sets. They will be accepting books before school and after school and during lunch. And finally, it's also time to turn in your school assigned Chromebook. We have two different deadlines. We, we've already started to collect through the month of May. Um, all of these Chromebooks can, need to be submitted through the library. All senior Chromebooks have to be in by May 24th. For 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, that deadline is the last day of school, May 31st, and that includes the Chromebook and the charger. So check your car, clean out your closet, and find these items, or be ready to pay up. For Jack TV, this is Laura Andrade. With recap of the state track meet and baseball playoffs, here's Ethan and Jordan with Jag Sports. What's up, Jags? Welcome back to Jag Sports. This week, we bring you results from the state meet in Austin for our pole vaulters, and we have playoff highlights from the Diamond for baseball as they push towards the state title. This, this is Jag, Jag Sports. Sports. First up, the JAG baseball team brought home a by-district victory winning their series against Steele. With a JAG game one victory 5-4, Steele evened the series with a 3-1 win, but ultimately the JAGs closed out the series winning the third game against the Knights 2-0 and advanced to take on the Bulldogs of Austin Bowie in the area round at San Marcos High School. The Jags didn't need a third game for this one, as they took care of business beating the Bulldogs in a doubleheader 6-1 and 9-1. They will take on Round Rock Westwood in round three, beginning tonight at seven at Dripping Springs High School. Game two will be tomorrow, same time, same place. And if necessary, game three will be there at two on Saturday. Next up, junior pole vaulters Taylor Fuentespina and Thomas Bucks competed at the state championship two weeks ago in Austin. They finished their season in style with Fuentespina taking home seventh in state and Bucks placing fourth. Before we sign off, I'd like to take a moment to thank our graphics creator for the JAG Sports, Sophia Mendez. She'll be a senior and will not be back here next year with JAG Sports. For the final time from A128, I'm Jordan York and Ethan will see you back here next year with more, more JAG, JAG action. action. 
After the success of last year's student-run concert, the students behind the event are back. Here's more about tomorrow night's much-anticipated concert. After the success of the Enter Into the 80s student-run concert last year, a small group of students has once again come together to create Worlds Collide, the second annual student-run concert this Friday. We did, um, back uh, my sophomore year and Preston's freshman year, we did like something called like Preston McGurn and Friends and it was like supposed to be like this, <laughs> this little concert. It's really embarrassing, it was bad, but it was so horrible that like, we decided like, whoa, what if we like did like a real concert and then we just started planning and it just kind of like spread it from there. But uh, we grew the idea, we we're like, hey, this is a cool idea, you know? It's so cool being able to perform in front of your friends, so let's put this into a full-fledged concert. So that led to, the production of Enter the 80s last year and it was a pretty broad theme something we feel like a lot of people could relate to and uh, would be excited to watch. With this concert featuring Reagan musicians our rival school students are very excited for the collaboration across campuses. Dude the Reagan people a whole lot of fun to work with I mean school rivalry whatever but I really love them they're and they're incredible too. I think they're all choir, all staters, and they're just, they're just excellent. Not only is working with Reagan students something that makes this show exciting, coming together with other Johnson students is a big part of what makes putting on this concert so special for those putting it on. The, the most excited person I am to work with this is probably Eric because he has so much good energy and he really like makes you excited to be on stage. And like, I'm a huge, I have a huge fear of, I have stage fright like crazy but he makes it so much easier to perform because he has so much energy and he kind of helps take your mind off of the fact that people are watching, but they're like, they're like watching you, like it's what you do and you love to put that out in front of people and he's really good at showcasing people the way he does. The band has been preparing for the concert since last semester. Ooh, we've been rehearsing for um, five months now since uh, November or December so we've been putting together a lot of super cool shows and a lot of cool music and we've been doing gigs and you've probably seen us at homecoming so it was it's been a long time coming and we've been playing together for a little bit over a year now so it's super cool to be with all these people and to keep preparing the music that we get to put on show for y'all on May. Preston McGurn, the student behind the whole production, along with Marco Lamelli and Eric Smith, have dedicated a lot of time into making this concert something special, from planning lighting and sound, to leading rehearsals and making decisions on the set list. So, I'm head producer. Uh, I basically design the show and stuff. I have these like really big and corny ideas, and then my co-producers basically shoot those down, you know, and make them a little, little more, uh, audience based so everybody likes it you know it's it's not too disney you know what i'm saying for jag tv this has been aubrey warmke tickets can be bought online with the qr code on the poster hey oh uh, oh what no. uh, picking up the pace and now these other boys can't stop it because i'm dropping all these hits and now these other boys can't top it no way i'm so silly i didn't even that's on me bro. yes I didn't realize I was a slave. Dude, I was only at the door, though. Oh my gosh. Um, but we do need to get started. I have another interview after this, okay? I told you all about it last time. <laughs> with Kanye West, the man himself. But uh, let me get into my questions. Uh, what is your plan for after high school? Gig'em. Going to A&M. Gig'em. <laughs> Gig um, UTSA to manager in sports ma management. Um, SAC and then transfer to UTSA majoring in English. I'm going to UNT for journalism. I don't know all the signs, I'm sorry guys. I'll also be going to UNT for journalism. I'm going to UT Austin for government. Hook em. <laughs> and in case you can't tell, I'll be going to Clemson University majoring in sports communication. Well that's awesome, I mean most of you guys are going to really good schools. Most of you guys. Okay. So, okay. Just for the record, eat them up, cats. Okay, so let's. What have you learned in class that you can apply to your future? You know, I think this class has taught me a lot. It's taught a lot about just the broadcasting, the being on camera side of things because a lot of times, like when you're recording video and all that, you're behind the Sorry. camera. Sorry. Sorry, I just need to get a selfie. I'm just, sorry, it's just like it's like my third interview of the day. I just want to get pictures of everyone. Okay, so, uh, we can get a selfie. We'll just get a little selfie real quick. Oh. 
Great. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Um, I've learned a lot about like how to speak on camera, how to write a lot better. <laughs> I'll add, I've learned a lot from this class, but I think the most important thing is just how to talk to people. Um, I would say probably more of like graphic design and how, what looks good and what doesn't. Um, I would say time management. There's definitely a deadline that you have to meet for everything. Well, that's awesome. Um, real quick, sorry, this is so off topic, but um, I don't watch this show often. You know, it's like, it's Jag XD. It's Jag TV. Jag TV, thank you, sorry. <laughs> but but when I do see it, I see um, you specifically. Uh -oh. Sorry, what's your name? I'm Jordan. Jordan, thank you, sorry. So many people, oh. such a big guy's injury. Um, Jordan, if you could please tell me, because I, like, I'm always wondering, I see you do sports all the time. Have you ever actually played sports? Oh. Or is that like so? Um, high school sports. I played golf freshman year. Uh, and is that really even a sport? Let's be honest. <laughs> Please let's be honest. Yeah. Okay. okay thank you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what is something you enjoyed in the program? Oh, um, I guess getting to meet new people, like outside of like my own circle, and like everyone here comes from like different backgrounds and stuff like that. So I think it's so cool how we all like come together to do one thing. No, that's awesome. I'll be right back. Just stay here, please. Please just stay here. Thank you. Okay. Bro, you gonna share? Sorry, no, I'm not gonna share. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is I I am not door down. I'm sorry. Listen, I, I came here a little bit late. This is going past my lunch time. I just needed some. Now, uh, have you prepared for life after high school? Like, how have you? Um, but I would say, for as much as I've thought about college, I haven't really thought about it. Hey, don't look at me. Look at like, the camera. Okay. <laughs> because it was just like one of those things where no, no, no that one right that, that one, one. okay yeah. that one. Oh. just one of those things where you don't really know kind of what's gonna happen and you kind of just find out when you get there so I'm, I'm really excited for that so we'll see what happens that's awesome Jordan I'm so sorry I told you to look at the wrong it was that one oh. right there. <laughs> is there don't anything else you have to say that. or if only if you want to. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Please don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, is there any advice you would give to younger students? I want to hear from most of you. Um, I would tell them to stay consistent and stay focused on your goals. Uh, build relationships with those around you, so you know you can like go to anybody if you need help or just advice on some things. You can always go to. So Sorry, we're wrapping up the interview. I just want to make sure you guys get your autographs. I'm sorry. The sharpie's oh. dead. Uh, just stop, stop whining. Just take the seat off. Thanks. I appreciate Sorry. it. Oh, um, no, keep going. Go ahead. Sharpie's going out. <laughs> <laughs> the big piece of advice is listen to Miss Hewitt. A lot of things go wrong if you don't take her advice. And um, I think that Go people on. have a lot to learn if they're just willing to put the work in and branch out on their assignments, not just do what everyone else is doing all the time. For the chief, what was it like? Um, bossing all of these people around. Oh. <laughs> I am a little bit of a control freak, though. I think I, um... Really? <laughs> I didn't know. I never noticed. <laughs> wow. um, I try to do everything uh, very specifically in the way I want, but it's fun, and I think over the course of the year I've learned to tone that down a little bit. Um, past period. Okay, well, um, I think that's all I have for you guys. Um, I have another okay. interview to get to. I'm going to be talking to Drake and Kendrick, and we're going to see if we can work it out. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought you, you said, said Kanye, Kanye earlier. Kanye. Uh, no, I'm going to go to Kanye and then Drake and Kendrick oh, and see if oh. they can work it out. But a uh, quick reminder for everyone in Miss Jewett, um, this is a character that is leaving now. You're not allowed to redo Dilly's Corner. Uh, <laughs> this stays right here, and it ends right here. So um, thank you guys very much, and have a good one. Pick up the phone. I ain't talking now. Hey, pick up the pace. Now, homie, slow it down. This is Jack TV. Intro. What's up, Jack? No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to do it for once. Then I think we're ready to start, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah! First up on the court, we have Volleyball, who took on Marshall last week at Littleton Gym and took home the... <laughs> and in San Marcos, Portis... Wow. How do I... Porter! Porter! Porter. <laughs> <coughs> wow. You built that one up, didn't you, bud? Yeah, I felt that one down low. Bless, 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 bless you. I'm 
sorry, I'm gonna hit that. Hit that dance move. That's not on, is it? Five of the staff this year are new. <laughs> Two major league conferences. Oh my gosh. What timing. Please hold. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. <laughs> and Ethan with Jack. Expect to find a regular science class, but what else is there might surprise you. Here's what Connor. Is there? <laughs> okay, it's just me today, guys. Whoa, it's a lot of reading. I have a, I don't think I'm able to read. I don't know how I passed sixth grade. Or kindergarten for that matter. <clears throat> Highlights from the kick <laughs> Why am I laughing? Here comes, no, okay, here comes Santa Claus. Do, do I like singing? What was Jordan's intended? My name is Aubrey Tarbox, uh, A-U-B-R, wait. Naima, where's the keyboard? Receiving a survey on this channel. <laughs> Sorry. It, was, it wasn't gonna be a good clip anyways. I was literally like cheesing the whole time. Danny! <laughs> There's only four weeks left of school, so students, what? Why? Four weeks. Four. I said four. She said four. Let's blew it up. <laughs> blue, 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 He's been blue, doing blue, this blue. with every single word I say. Yeah, students weren't able to log in complete the password form until January. There is my keyboard. What's up, Jags? Welcome back to Jack Sports. This week we have results from the diamond. We were kept <laughs> from the thing. Well, just $30. They're actually 25 Next week. There's only four weeks left of summer school, so students take... <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> How many times have I said this one? <laughs> they go up in price. Yeah. So they start out 25. Yes, yeah, so they're 25 right now. Welcome back. Is that me? No. And then next week when the show airs, they're going to be $30. And then at the end next week... Oh! <laughs> And the guys finished <laughs> off the rat with finish. <laughs> Just like students have expectations when it comes to grades, Laura and Elijah. Elijah. Elijah, how about story? It wraps up. We show you why the rodeo. Cool. <laughs> it's been an honor being your Jag TV chief this year. Thank you for watching. Now signing off for the last time, this has been Aubrey Warmke. That's all for this year, Jags. From Studio A128, See you next time.